uh, the government co-contribution is still very much a valuable strategy if you are eligible for it. So if you earn less than uh, $61,920, then you're likely to be uh, eligible for the government co-contribution, at least in part format. If you earn less than $31,920, then you're likely to be fully eligible if you satisfy all these other criteria. So you earn at least 10% or more from, of your total income from eligible employment, running a business, or a combination of both. You've got to be under 71 years of age. You must lodge a tax return. It's 100% return uh, for no risk. So you're putting $1,000 into your fund and you're getting $1,000 from the government. Uh, it, it may only be $1,000, but it's very good returns uh, on your money. Now, one of the federal government announcements that I will uh, talk through here is that it's changing next year. So rather than being $1,000 that you'll get back from the government, it's halving to $500. So you've still got to put the $1,000 in to get $500 back, uh, but it's it's halving uh, with the pressures, I guess, on the on the budget. With that halving of the... Uh, of the co-contribution amount, it also reduces the maximum income that you can take advantage of it. So it caps out at $46,920 in next financial year. So this financial year, it's still um, the $1,000, 100% co-contribution. So well worth doing if you are eligible for it.